pack house. Call somebody accidentally. Hold on a second. Damn, I need to shave. Supervisor. That was easy, I'll be honest with you. That one cop in there, I think he's in like Greenwood or something. He's been there for like four years. But I, you know, I was behind all the other people, but it, he was gonna help the people or the other cop, they were gonna help all the people. It's like four people. Um, and they can handle that stuff themselves. I need a supervisor. So rather than making me wait, he's getting a supervisor now and saved me a lot of time. Free J. J is free. Yeah, J is incredible. Low key. She's part of the reason I'm here. She was able to ID some cops before I could get access to the facial recognition. Here's the funniest thing. One of these cops I ran through facial recognition and came back with a different match than J. Came back with a different match than J. But it's wrong. Jay got it right. Because the two matches that came back with in facial recognition are cops that I know, and that wasn't them. That wasn't she got it right. She is more accurate. <laughs> That's some wild shit. Uh, yeah. Low key was pretty damn good. So I can show you. Let me show you. You can decide for yourself. Okay, so first off, went put this guy through facial recognition. He was, so I, I'm here because of the incident that happened with Josiah, where they told him that he had to leave from La Poubelle because he had a stay away order. Come to find out, he didn't have a stay away order for the celebrity center. It's only for the test center on Hollywood Boulevard and the Blue Building, only those two. So they were trying to say that he wasn't allowed to be by the Celebrity Center. 
but that's just not true. But they told him he had to leave. So they gave an illegal order, right? And they need to be held accountable. Church of Scientology came to them and was like, you know, we have a stay away order against this guy from all facilities, probably. They probably just lied. And without checking to see if it's accurate, they just amend, went over there and told him that he was violating a stay away order and he has to leave without checking. So they gave him an illegal order. He did not have to leave. Anyway, so there were three cops there. Here was a sergeant on scene, right? It's. Damn, it's. So that picture in the top left corner, that's a picture from in front of La Pupel. Oh, I don't need to see my messages. Everybody's screen capping. Damn, I hate how it won't focus. Just focus, man. Anyway, top left corner, that's that guy. We ID'd him, and it comes back to this guy right here. Right here, in the, the, right there in the corner. That's an accurate match. It's definitely him. Now, let me tell you what Jay did. Because we had this guy hold on, in the top left corner, and facial recognition came back to these two. And I know both of these cops. I know both of them. That's not him. She got it right. 100% right. I would have came here, wrote up the wrong people, and they'd been giggling if it was. So you guys got it. I mean, not you guys, one person. Fuck them, uh, fuck them computers and fuck the algorithms. Just ask Jay. Yes, that was the cop that was there when Aaron got arrested. We'll call him Lamb Chops, Sergeant Lamb Chops, because he got some lamb chops on him. And here's another thing that's kind of annoying, right? So, here, let me show you. Damn, I think I did it on this phone. Where is he? I need to shave. My face looks grubby. Yes, Solomon did get home. Solomon got home. So I, I was going and just ran his face through sort of a regular facial recognition. Sergeant Lamb Chops. There he is doing security work. Sergeant Lamb Chops. There he is in the background. Sergeant Lamb Chops. Where's the other one at? Sergeant Lamb Chops. So I believe LAPD policy, I have to go back and double check this, but I believe LAPD policy says you're, uh, yes. there he is with Heidi Feldstein Soto, the city attorney. So the reason why DOA doesn't have his phone right now is because of her, the clown, Heidi. She looked like a clown, right? Anyway, there's Lamb Chops. Goofy, but his Lamb Chops sideburns, I believe the LAPD policy says that your sideburns can only come down to the bottom of your ear. And his is real, real borderline.
There he is getting some overtime. Probably a Walk of Fame event where they're doing a star. Sergeant Lamb Chops. I believe he was a bike cop too, because I found a picture of him. I think I have it on my other phone. Was that a wedding picture? Is that lamb chops in the background doing security work? Anyway, that thing is real borderline. I think I'll write him up for the fucking beer, just make him measure it out. Well, I'm, I'm looking here, I'm seeing free Chris. What did I, what happened? Was Karen Bass home? I mean, when we say it's a house, it was the mayor's, the Getty house, which is the sort of the mayor's mansion. It's like over there in, I guess I'd be considered Hancock Park. So anyway, I'm here to file a complaint on that. these three cops. Did I see the video of the Karen yelling at DOA? Hell yeah, that lady's nuts. She looked crazy. Don't come to Ojai. Ain't nobody ever said that in their life. Like that's some place, like, oh, you don't come to Ojai. Like, ooh, not oh hi. <laughs> don't come to oh hi. You know, they acting like don't come to Compton. Don't come to South Central. Don't come to Inglewood. Don't come to oh hi. Ojai is nice as shit. Bunch of, bunch of far. I mean, I listen. I I know Ojai is because I ran a Ventura Marathon, and it's all downhill. You're up in the mountains and you run downhill all the way through, and you go and run around Ojai. Oh, here we go. Uh, I need to file a complaint. Um, shit, what was the date of this incident? Sorry. Uh, let's start off with this. We're going to start off with the three officers involved. Okay. All right. Um, first officer involved is going to be... Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> it's going to be Sergeant Abdalian. Yeah, A B D A L I A N. Uh, serial number three four four five zero. Um, this is gonna be all for well, for him. Let's put it this way: for him, it's gonna be a couple of things. It's gonna be a failure, neglect, and failure of supervisory duties, and also um, an un unlawful order. Yeah. All right, second officer is going to be Estevan Garcia. Uh, serial number 42198. And that's going to be for unlawful order. And then the third officer is going to be David Gonzalez. His serial number is 43011. And uh, that's going to be unlawful order also. Essentially what happened, they came to a, uh, I'll, I'll email you the date. The location will be Bronson 
and uh, would be Franklin and Bronson. Anybody know the date? Um, no, it was probably a couple weeks ago. No, a few weeks ago. Um, so there was, a, there was an incident where they came and said that a person at that location had a stay away order by the Church of Scientology. When the person, and he was made to leave the scene under threat of arrest. And they said they were taking a crime report. The problem was is he didn't have a stay away order for that location, okay? He had a stay away order for, uh, on Hollywood Boulevard over here on the 6700 block, and he had a stay away order for that blue building over there by Kaiser. This happened over there by the Celebrity Center. It wasn't a stay away order. So it seems that the Church of Scientology contacted you guys and said that this guy is violating the stay away order and you went and gave him an order that he had to leave without verifying that the information they received was correct. So therefore, because of that, they all gave an unlawful order to this man. And on top of that, the sergeant on scene, the supervisor, he failed in his duties as far as the supervisory duties. That's why we have the failure and neglect of supervisory duties. Um, what you can do is, if you can email me, uh, or actually I will email you in the next 10 minutes. Uh, your serial number? 3079. 3079. No, 38. I was gonna say, you've been on force away too long. That 38079. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you an email in the next few minutes with the date. Uh, if you could send me a CF number tonight, I'd appreciate that. And we take it from there. From there, you know, I'm listening. I'm, gonna, I'm also going to send the video evidence directly to Choi to let him deal with it so you don't have to deal with that. So if you just gave me the CF number so I can go ahead and give him the, the actual, uh, you know, the video evidence, that'd be great. All right, appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'll send you an email. Oh, uh, March 20th. I'll email her anyway. She needs my email. I know people are saying she's not writing it down. All she had to do is take, she, all she cared about was the serial numbers. She knows she'd take it from there and she knew which cops. The only thing she has to do is fill out the form in the computer and send me the CF number. That's all I care about. And she has to send me the CF number. She doesn't send me a CF number. I will make a fit. And on top of it, guys, it doesn't even matter because I'm going to send the police chief a complaint tomorrow over the same incident. He's going to have to intake it. And he would not dare not take intake it and have me turn into a big ass drama queen. So it's, Literally, the point of me coming up here is so I could just use this and listen, like I said, when it comes to the process of holding cops accountable, our internal processes are weak. At best, the most I've ever done as far as suspensions is got a guy suspended for 10 days. I feel like the stuff that these people do, they should be getting suspended for 30 days. This right here, these cops with this situation, at best when it's done, worse, the worst case scenario for them is they'll get a reprimand. Most likely, it'd be more like an admonishment, if that. But if, you know, if they're not doing basic shit, in giving unlawful orders without verifying their shit, but they don't have no problem. They shouldn't be on the, on the police force. So you listen, you can only hold them, but so accountable with internal processes. That's why you gotta shame the punk, punk asses. So I'll clown them on the internet. Find them on social media. Let their friends see what the fuck they're doing. And show people exactly how shitty they are on top of it when 
just the efforts against the Church of Scientology. I want to make sure I have as many incidents documented as possible. It's a long game on this shit, I'm telling you. You got to be patient. It's timing. But right now is a good time. They're getting ready to start naming police chief or options for police chief. I'm surprised somebody didn't spawn up on me over there. happened this morning at 6 a.m. Zach's in here. <laughs> Jessica has her mini Cooper was held hostage. guy is so damn drunk. He was in the middle of the street doing some shit. Karen's house. So it's not her house. It's the Getty house. That's like Hancock Park. First off, it's an easy house to like... It's right off of... What is it? Right off of Wilshire, right? So it's... Like, very accessible. I have a hard time. Was she really there? Because I have a hard time she stays there. I always feel like no mayor really stays there. Because that's where protesters will go to. Why would you want to deal with that bullshit? I just feel like none of them stay there. Did anybody get facial recognition on that lady? Wasn't she wearing like big glasses? She's wearing big glasses. It's hard to get a match on that. Especially from a distance. Like you can get away with that if you're sort of close and you have other features to work with. You can see eyebrows and things like that. But at a distance like that? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm hearing sirens. Have I been to El Sereno? What's that? Good location. Villa Grossa stayed there. Can Choi become chief? No, I believe it's city charter says that the temporary chief cannot become permanent. Plus he's on a drop program, so. He's, she does stay at the house. I mean, you can't protest directly in front of the place. I think you have to protest 300 feet away, which would basically put you on Wilshire. I'd love to slide up on her ass, but I don't picture her coming out of the property, walking out of the property. There's a cool orange cat that lives right across the street, though. There's a protest going on. The cat just comes out and hangs out with the protesters. Why are people going off on delete laws? What happened there? Oh, yeah, I know what delete laws is. I've been at some police scenes that he's been there. No meow, snake eyes. Come on. I should never have gotten involved with that shit.
outside of Blinken's house. Been there for months. Yeah, I said a cat. Yeah, no, there was a orange cat that lived right across the street from the mayor's house. And when the crowds come out there and people playing their guitars or whatever, banging pots and pans, whatever it is, and they comes out and hangs out. I haven't really been to a ton of protests at the mayor's house. I don't, like, I'll go to protest. I don't protest. I, I usually go there to cover the police response. So I'm usually kind of off to the side just documenting things. Or not off to the side in the middle of it. I generally had a thing like if you're going to cover it, an event sort of like to document it like a reporter, then you shouldn't be involved in it. Don't mix the two. If you're out there protesting and also documenting and you want to treat you, because if it's, you know, listen, you're out there filming your press and there's certain things they have to do by law they're supposed to do, they do what they want. But usually, You guys lock the Red Bull thing? This 7-Eleven is so bad, they got locks up on the thing. And if you want to get something at the... They have to press the button. Oh, it's over? It's not open. Huh? Oh, there we go. Finally. Do I have a sugar or not? I'll do a little one. Online, right? You were all night. Oh. Time. I know you get a lot of hard times over here. <laughs> Take care. She wanted free shit. I think she wanted her, her cigarettes to be free. She going off now. Her drunk ass. She just came out the club and she's drunk and messy. Is Zach in here? What's up? What's Zach doing? You know what Zach's gonna? What's gonna end up happening with him? Zach is gonna have a million subscribers on YouTube. Cause Zach is funny. Last night was so funny, but he's also super smart. Like I say, it's a little bit crazy. But I'm a, a lot of bit crazy. Where's he going? See if I need to get on a scooter. Yeah, he moving. That better be some legit shit. I see another one up there. Hold on. Anybody got a scan on? West Bureau?
sounds like he's running. Come on, let's start. Why is this not fucking starting? There are foot chase. Foot chase. Come on, man, start. Hit me for look what you're fucking doing. The fuck is your problem? Vandalism? This is for vandalism suspects? You guys did this response for vandalism suspects. Vandalism suspects.
These guys did this shit. This is for vandalism suspects. You gotta be kidding me. You guys gotta be kidding me. You big fucking drama queens. Look at you. It's gonna, probably gonna be for that trash can. Vandalism suspects. I don't hurt at all. Vandalism suspects. Vandalism suspects. You fucking drama queens. You guys are some clowns. I gotta hear this call. My God. The vandalism. This is a, a release right here at this end. Uh oh, they got to get the evidence for the vandalism suspects. Man, they had all this backup. Code three for vandalism suspects. Vandalism suspects. This is what this is the response for vandalism suspects. The fucking drama queens of the LAPD. Look at them, they're just circling around looking for the second suspects. For this is vandalism suspects. This is some clown shit. You guys are some fucking clowns. And so then every one of these guys gets 130000 a year. Then uh, I don't get it. Vandalism suspects. Vandalism fucking. They, let's get more cops. Where the fuck is the helicopter and the submarine and whatever the fuck other resources we need for vandalism suspects? You guys came code three for that shit. Code three for vandalism. Lights and sirens. The vandalism suspect cops right here. Look at these fucking drama queens. Go look for the other one. Go search for them. My God. Yeah, I'm thinking, man, I'm just going to go to the police station, file a little complaint, just, you know, get home and chill tonight. Oh, there you got the little runs, too, right? You got runt number one and runt number two. I don't know how the hell they met the five-foot requirement, but whatever. But this is the vandalism, vandalism cops. This is the vandalism patrol, the vandalism task force. And they're saying, we don't have enough cops. That's what they're saying. They're saying, we don't have enough cops. We need to hire more. We desperately need to hire more. They're complaining because they only hired 30 last month. We need more. And this is what your resources are going to. And so I'm supposed to just sit here and be quiet about it. And everybody out here looking around, they're saying, oh my God, it must be a murder suspect. It must be a shooting suspect. All these cops, it must be a shooting. No, it's vandalism. I can't take it. I can't take it. I'm telling you, man, most of my cop watching is accidental. Just going about my business, you know? Most people, they see the lights go by and they're like, fuck it. You know, it must be something serious. I see lights go by, I'm like, ah, oh, you know this is some bullshit. 90% of the time is nothing. 95% of the time. But they were coming lights and sirens, blowing through lights, blowing through lights, putting the public at risk. For vandalism suspects. If I find out it's that trash can, I, I can't take it, man. And they're probably circling around looking for him because there was a second suspect. And then finally they said downgrade it. Oh my God, they're gonna be walking around over here looking for, trust me, there's more around. Never. So I didn't know what the call was. I just heard him on the radio being frantic, like he was chasing after somebody and he was like afraid for his life. That's why I thought, I don't know, I'm like, what's that then down there? What's this check? Uh, he's not a friend. I mean, you know, listen, I know some of you guys have access to 
broadcast the file archives. If you don't, I don't know how much it costs, a few dollars. And you can go listen to it for yourself. I couldn't hear what he was saying. I could hear him frantic because I had, I was on a scooter and the wind was blowing. I'm not going down here. You would have thought it was a shootout. And then when I got close, I heard them say down, downgrade your response from code three because it was only a vandalism suspect. The fuck are you talking about? I heard that, I lost my shit. It's only a vandalism suspect. Y'all had 10 cop car, eight to 10, I don't know how many it was, because a bunch of them were circling because there were two suspects and one got away for vandalism. It's not in there. They're somewhere. I don't know where. I went looking for them. I don't know where the fuck they're at. I'm not sticking around. I know something? Not a single cop moved that trash can out of the street. I don't know if that's it. Somebody's gonna smash into that. And those fuckers are heavy. Don't touch it. They will say they will have your prints. Guys, the LAPD has arrested me multiple times. They have my prints and my DNA. They got video of my strip search, all that. Glad Gizmo didn't witness it. Gizmo has seen so much of that shit. Gizmo's used to me just screaming at scenes, and he's just so calm. He pays it. He doesn't get animated. He just, he's just chill. He just sits there. My strip search? Yeah. Took me into a room. They're like... They took me into a room, and they're like... They took me into a room and they're like, take off one thing at a time. I took it all off and threw it at him. He's like, the door's not closed. You want me to close the door? I'm like, no, nah, I don't give a fuck. I'm like, we're going to do it. Let's do it. I don't care who walks by. And he, the look on his face he, when I was just took off my clothes and just threw it at him, he's like... Because he's telling me one thing at a time. Fuck you. Here. Boom. Do it right at his feet. What? Go, you can go sniff my clothes. Because what does it smell like? It's tad, tied and lemon grabs. So, yeah, they got all that. When they released the body cam footage of my arrest they did it in two stages 
first time it did, it was just edited. They edited out all the incriminating shit. Even when they edited it out, it was like not good. Then I, I told them, I said, "You're fucking manipulating this shit. You're not even you're you're hiding all this stuff." Where the cop who arrested me pretended he didn't know who I was, even though I had filed so many complaints against him, even just five days before. So then they released a second batch of body cam footage. Still edited, and they edited out the most important part. Just release the fucking body cam footage. They still to this day have it, because it's, because it's not good. When I finally, I'm gonna request it again, the full, with the new chief, I'm gonna request the full, and they're gonna say, we deleted it. It was, a, it was a dirty arrest. Like I said, I never even, I never even stepped foot into a courtroom. DA reached, not dismissed it, rejected. And his rejection letter was real straight to the point. It was like, this case is bullshit. It is rejected. And then Chief Moore had to go on uh, in a meeting. He was asked about it, and he was he admitted the guy who had me arrested was in a mental health crisis and had been throwing bottles and at car is going by because he was having a mental health crisis but when I yelled at him to stop and he went to his tent to get his knife and his pole I actually left I came three hours later I heard all the cops over there so I was like let me see what the fuck is going on I go over there and there he was handcuffed because some lady called 911 on him because he was walking up and down the street threatening people with knives and with a knife and a pole so I come over and start filming, and that guy said to the cops, he threatened to burn my tent down earlier. And so yeah, they hand, handcuffed me, took go off of him, let him go. They gave him his knife back. They gave him his knife back. The LAPD gave him his knife back. They charged me with criminal threats, $50,000 bail. Seized two phones, got search warrants for my phones. It was just ridiculous. Like against cops who I had a combined, I think, eight complaints against the two cops. One of the complaints against the cops was because he refused to identify himself. I asked him like seven times, he refused to. I didn't find out his name until nine months later when I, when he arrested me. Anyway, I filed complaints on him for refusing to identify. And they said my complaint was unfounded and threw it out. And when I confronted them again, then they said, oh, my bad, we made a mistake. It's been over a year, so we can't reverse it now. So they can correct a complaint in a year, which is why they usually send me fully adjudicate them. Uh, take, I, they usually take 364 days to fully adjudicate them. So if they do make a mistake. Uh. This is what they do. That's the, the runt, so they came back. She's either inside, the other little runt, she's either inside taking a piss or taking a dump. And he's waiting for her to come back and take a dump, taking a dump. Make sure she washes her hands.
This is the hard work of the LAPD. Hard work. They're waiting for that next vandalism call. They're just waiting for that next vandalism call. They're like they post up here. How, is that a real? I mean, how's that a real cop? That's like a cadet. Come on now, it's like the cadet program. That's a grown cop. Anyway, they're waiting for that next vandalism call. Well, that next vandalism call comes in. They, oh, there goes the sergeant. Which way you want to go? Another vandalism call coming in. They got to discuss it. They're really, there's really nothing to discuss. They're just wasting time. Riding out the shift before they go back to wherever they live. In Riverside County, in Orange County. Ventura County, San Bernardino, wherever it is. They say, these suckers in LA, we got their money. We got 130, I got some overtime tonight. I got 140,000 coming in this year. These suckers out here, they just ride around playing video games. Vandalism call, go, 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 go. Man. Sergeant doesn't get an SUV? No. Nah. That's either a sergeant or a gang unit. There's like sort of a courtesy thing where the sergeants give the P2s the better vehicles. So yeah, all these sergeants, they ride around in these. Man, that's hard work, man. Strenuous. Look at this. Strenuous. Here's the Hollywood LAPD. Where are we at, right? This is Council District 4 and 13. Hugo's office and Nithya Raman's office. Oh, we got another one coming on the other side. Got to come in. Got to regroup before the next vandalism call. They're just going to hang out. This is, so this is City Council office. And the police station has some stuff in here, too. They have, I guess you would consider it internal affairs in here, part of it, which would be essentially internal affairs for Hollywood. I think it's important for people to see where your money goes, where your tax dollars go. There's a neighborhood council meeting to here. I go in there and like, oh, I met the, the council members. There are a bunch of people who are like been and living in Hollywood for two years. They probably very disconnected, like never actually walked on Hollywood Boulevard, never actually walked around. And so they're neighborhood council members, except for Sunshine. Sunshine, one council member, he's a Uber Eats driver or a Postmates driver, and he does it on his motorcycle. He's a regular dude. They don't like him either. They're all stuck up. Oh man, he left. What are you guys about these guys right here? Let me get the light. Let me get that light right there. I should have brought a flashlight. The scooter isn't isn't hitting the right angle. Uh, let's see what he's doing. So you're parking now? What do you got? What are you doing? This guy's doing suspicious shit. He's gonna pull in there. Park between the cars so that way I can't watch them as they do whatever they do on TikTok or whatever. Maybe they're watching a the live stream. But they're going to park right there and what are they going to do? Nothing. They're not going to do anything. They're going to sit there. Let's see. Let me get that light right. Hold on, I gotta balance the scooter with zooming in. Are they in there? Doesn't look like they're in there. Unless they lean back in the seat. Anyway, I'm not standing around for this shit. You guys see, you guys see the fucking waste. We don't have enough cops. We need more cops. Vandalism. Yeah, 
You see the shit I gotta deal with? I'm just, I was going home. I was going home. But you see all those sirens and stuff. And they were, that one cop was, it's not that he was just coming code three. He was flying down the street, flying. For vandalism suspect. in the scooter company by now? I'm not sure. Who knows what else I'm going to see next? Like I said, people always like, do you listen to the scanner? No. Nah. I mean, I listen once like cars are going by. Yeah, I'm going to listen to see exact location of going so but this is the shit you just kind of bump into without a scanner Dr. Mark you are funny so I've been keeping my mouth quiet I know exactly what I had planned care of my stock. It's kind of funny. We'll see what happens on Tuesday. Tuesday I have on the slap here. Like I said, I feel very calm, confident. The only thing is, so the problem that with slaps is sometimes the cops, I mean not cops, the judges don't understand slaps. They just don't. It's because it's hardly used. So as long as they truly understand it, I think I got this in the bag. If they get freaked out because it's not just a slap, but it's a slap against an elder abuse thing, there's not much precedence in that. I think there's like one case where you're able to slap an elder abuse. Just, so does that judge want to make precedence? But as far as the... Worst comes to worst, I guess it would be the next week have the regular RO thing. I got that. I wouldn't at 100%. There's no one it. And then, the LAPD submarine. Zach is a G. You guys are underestimating how, I'm telling you, Zach is going to have a million subscribers. I'm, t I'm telling you, he will. I can just see it right now. Can't you guys see it? Because he could do, he's got some diversified shit that he could do. On top of that, he's a good dude, too. Yeah, Zach shit is going to go viral, I'm telling you. I mean, he's just got to be careful. He's got to be careful over there. That you do. Hoover Crips don't want to have their little money, money thing blown up. So you got to do it the right way. You got to get in and out. And don't, I would recommend not doing it alone, either. Okay. Zach is dangerous. Oh yeah, uh, he's maverick dangerous. Top of 
साहब का Zach Ellison, follow him. I'm telling you, this shit's gonna blow up. Watch, watch in a year. Where is that? I don't think I don't know if it'll be a million by then. But I'm telling you, this shit's just gonna blow up. Oh, uh, Zachary Obama. Zach is at 74th and Fig right now. Oh my God. Uh, I think I, I want to watch this live. I want to hurry up and get my, what I'm going to get right now. I should actually probably pay attention to the road as I'm riding around with one hand. I've just been reading the chat. I don't even know how I got this far. I just ended up over here. Watching Zach on the TV. Oh man, I can't park over here. I went too far. It's gonna fuck. That's also a problem with live streaming. Is you don't wanna when you're doing some shit like that. I don't mind live streaming when I'm in Hollywood in my general area because I know how to move. But live streaming your location. Um, when you're in the wrong neighborhood, man. set yourself up for some shit, you know? So I said, I used to hardly ever live stream. Is Jessica still going out with Zach live streaming? Jessica's gonna do some investigative journalism. I know a white Honda Civic standing out. When people know you have a white Honda Civic. I forgot I had a Red Bull in my pocket. I don't wanna open that up. That thing's gonna explode everywhere. Go ahead, don't run me over. I'm not joking. Jessica and Zach out there are filming. That'd be much, much, must watch TV. Although I wouldn't feel comfortable with them being out there at night. It has to be during the daytime. Loki, I'm not gonna go film out there. I shouldn't be recommending anybody do it. I think you gotta do it, it's more like 
journalism work, trying to figure out where people got there. Should be blurring out, maybe blur out video and stuff. So you gotta be sensitive to all that. You don't wanna be exploited, right? But Zach is right. They're essentially, they're gonna have mass crackdowns over there and arrest anybody, all the sex workers, all of them, they're gonna get arrested. So what's the story there? Cause I get it, like I'm not against sex work. I also understand the community members being like, but I don't wanna walk my kids to school. I just don't think, like sending them to jail, well, I don't know what that accomplishes, you know? So it's complicated. Fuck it, I'm gonna get this coconut seven layer bar. Like I said, I'm not a coconut fan. Where's my stalker at? My stalker. <laughs> we shut down Scientology. A fig, no way. We are not shutting down fig. But the city attorney's about to come through there and try to shut them down. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of sex trafficking going on over there, you know? A lot of those girls have no choice. A lot of them have no choice because of circumstances in their life. Chatting online when you have a dry sense of humor. Who has a dry sense of humor? Yeah, I'm not a coconut fan, but I got the coconut seven layer because the other, the other ones suck. I didn't want the other ones. They're just, I've had them before and they suck. The so delicious cashew frozen treats. I know. They're excellent. There goes LAPD. What are you doing? Oh, that's Sheriff. I was going to say, what are you doing in West Hollywood? Oh, he's busting a U turn for what? What are you? He's up to no good. He is literally going to pull somebody over. Let's go for a walk, guys. I got to find a scooter. Who is he pulling over? He's not going to be able to pull him over until he's north of sunset. Watch. There goes Jessica. Jessica, go home.
What do you think? What are the chances he gets pulled over? Oh man, I hate these scooters too. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use it out. When his light turns green, what are the chances? Oh, let me clean the screen. Once the light turns green. So, I'm not gonna keep, if he hasn't lined him up, I'm not gonna keep on walking up there. Okay, I guess not. Good. Thank God. We pull them over and rob them. That's a mission good division thing. The sheriffs, who know? Who knows? They went and followed him. He's coming back around. I saw him make a right-hand turn over here on Sunset. Hey. I saw him. Now where is he going? So he had gone over here, went up here to light, and then when it turned green, See, it looked like you could see him break right. He made a right-hand turn. It seemed like he went around the corner and came back over here. Wonder which which deputies they were. Certain deputies out here that are super aggressive. Now, here's what I would say. He's just made a left right here. This is not West Hollywood. West Hollywood is back there. Again, he can patrol Hollywood because he can patrol anywhere in the county of LA. But the city of West Hollywood is contracting the LASD, paying the LASD 300,000 per deputy. City of West Hollywood said they don't have enough cops. They need more cops. But the cops that they do have are not patrolling West Hollywood. They come over here to Hollywood to put, pull people over, give them tickets, and arrest people to pad their stats so they can go back to the city of West Hollywood and say, oh, look at all the, all the arrests we've made. Look at all the tickets we've, we've written. When in reality... They're not writing them in West Hollywood, the area they patrol. Where's that degenerate going? They're writing them in the next, technically the next city over. Is that a good use of West, West Hollywood taxpayer money? You tell me. That. 
Alright, Is Zach still alive? Where do I find out the geographic boundaries in the city of West of Beverly Hills? Just look at the Google um, a map of Beverly Hills and it'll show the boundaries on there. I mean, they only have real jurisdiction in Beverly Hills. Now, don't be wrong. They, they have a thing where they'll help out each other. If there's an incident, is that a cop? That's a cop or not. I'm squinting trying to find out. Come on, guys. No, it's not. Didn't want to put him on blast if it's not an actual cop. He's actually alive and watching him. You came second tonight. You fall off. I mean, listen, I get it. I'm trying to go watch Zach myself. Zach would be a good, like, drunken interview subject, too. Zach, getting the views now. I'm telling you, I keep on saying, Zach's going to have a million subscribers. He's going to be... How come my post is not showing? He's actually on Fig. I'm trying to get home to go watch it. Eat some ice cream. Imagine Zach on LSD. I was wondering if Zach was on mushrooms last night. But I'm like, man, that's not, is that weed? Is it really? He'd be super interesting. Zach is an interesting dude. Like I said, a tiny bit crazy, but I like a tiny bit crazy. Actually, I prefer just a tiny bit. DOA's what? DOA's interview should be with Zach. Hey, Stevie Weeby. Stevie, interview with Zach. That'd be an interesting interview. Zach after dark. I just, I just listen. I, just, I do worry about his safety. Safety being unsafe over there. Because somebody's going to think he's a cop or any, anything. But they also see him as a mark. Like, man, we're going to get his shit. You know, you don't want to end up with three guns in your face as they're taking your car, emptying your pockets. I, that's what I'm saying. I actually will not go over there and do this. I'll go over there and cop watch that area, and I do. But to go over there and sort of document... Um, prostitutes. I can't. I personally can't live stream that. You know. And man, if you get caught live streaming, keep in mind. Like I said, 
No, you in Hoover area. You think they're not making money off the prostitution over there? That's their money. And if you're coming over there and showing in a way that they feel like it might hurt their money, expose things. You know what I'm saying? So no, literally what he's doing, I literally would be scared the right word. I'd be concerned. At the same time, from a journalistic standpoint, I don't act like there's not a story there. And from a hit standpoint, please, views, he'll be crushing it. Low key. Let's do something. Let's see what Zach, let me go see what Zach's live. We're going to do a Zachary Ellison. Zach Obama. Yeah, it's everywhere. There, there's another one right down there. Uh-oh. Like it's, it's literally everywhere down here. Yeah, and you can't really see people's face. If I'm a distance away, right, you can only just kind of see their uh, their figure, right? You're not seeing their their full faces. You're not seeing them in full detail. So, I mean, I think that that is the question. Like, is it you know ethical to go up and interview people who are engaged in street prostitution? Yeah, right? like, it is ethical. Is that ethical? It is. But I think you need to show some discretion and possibly try to protect right, their like, face. Is that ethical? Is it exploitation or is this some good undercover journalism going on? I think this is good undercover journalism. Um, you know, I'm not out here to glamorize this or to sensationalize it. I'm simply out here to document that this is what is happening um, in this community. He's making a fair point. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, if you mess with people's business, they're going to get you. I'm just worried that my guy is going to get jacked. I mean, I think that highlighting it by pointing the camera at the problem. There's another one down there. You can see her. Um, you guys see her right there? She's right there. Again, you can't really see her very well. She's, she's just a grainy figure. So, it's like that. But again, this is plain view. This is just in the streets right now. Make sure you follow Zach. I mean, blow his shit up. You can't really make out their faces too much because we're, we're, we're far enough away. But I'm gonna move down Boulevard. We're done. We're done fake. Let's go down fake. So here, here's just another one working. And you have a mix of African American and Latin, Latinos. My name and my address are hard to find. I I know that. Um, but my name is out there, so, I mean, why do I even care? Uh, you're so journalista. I, I'm just pointing out that this is happening out here like this. And again, like, I think that's where, like, it's one thing if I use influencer tactics to try to approach people and to get them versus observing and pointing out that the activity is taking place still. So, that's the point. There's two more on my left side there. Just, just standing there in the open. He points out all the Latinas. Jessica, you need to go undercover and like um, have him roll down there, and by chance you'll be standing out there. That'd be funny. I could be wrong about that. But I well, no, I should do district. it. So I actually know his. I'm gonna dress director, up, and I'm curious to see what she has to I'm say. I'm to put on a dress so, and some high heels. You know the difference here, right? And I want him to pull up. Because it'll fuck his head up. Office. I will say I've been observing street prostitution on Figueroa, live streaming it to hundreds of people. What are you doing to address this crisis? And, you know, I, I think that is important. Like, I, I'm not trying to say... Actually, I think all the streamers should go out there, dress up like that, and have them roll down the street. 
and he'll see him one by one and they'll fuck his head up. Give him a bunch of weed beforehand or actually some mushrooms. A thong and a wig. Hell yeah. And I want you to dare him to pull over the next person he sees and he pull over and talk to me and I'll kind of do that whole thing and lean in the car. I'll meow at him. I want to see if he can meow back. Don't, okay, man, don't turn off the gas, though. You got to be ready to go. You know what I'm saying? And low-key, you're better off with your lights on. You are, and kind of, but whatever. Here's another one. So. This is unfortunately what happens on a nightly basis here in Los Angeles. And... Do pay money to see that? You're damn right you're going to have to pay money to see that. I ain't going to do that for free. For that, you're going to have to pay me. I need at least $100. We're in a public place. We're, we're, we're on a public street. Yeah. For, for, I mean, as far as danger, guys, I will say this. Like, out of all the places in, in, in L.A., that there's a million places that are more dangerous. So you don't want to do too much over there because you don't want to fuck up the money. Yeah, only $100. How much? That's a lot of money. Maybe. But you don't want to fuck up the money by having a bunch of shootings over there. So it's not that. And you don't want to do a bunch of robberies, bring heat. So And he's as long as he's on the main streets. If he goes down those side streets, my God. Yeah, for Paul Maybe on the way out. Zach got to clean his windshield a little bit. And then we got to get Zach a new phone. That he needs a 15. Not a taker. That one just looked really sad. One ninety nine a month? Me telling the customer to stop is not going to happen. Is the sound going in and out? Hold on. I mean... How about now? Is the sound still I, going in and out? If not, you might have to just go out and go in. Clothing. Standard. It's really obvious. It's extremely obvious when you're down here who's who. Although Zach 420 Zach is funny as hell. When he just, just randomly starts speeding down the street. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to say it. But don't let the pimp find out. We're going to find out that Zach is low-key. We didn't know it. But Zach is the pimp down there. That he's running things. Legalize and yeah. regulate sex work. I agree with that. I think locking people up over and over again for prostitution, what does that really get? Nobody ever, they don't lock up the Johns, do they? Zach High is funny. Zach High is incredible. Paul just wants to meow. I feel bad meowing at that one. Where did she go? She went down the block or something. Oh, he's searching. That one like, just looks way too sad. She didn't look like she was having fun in any type of way. But maybe we, we, we can get meowing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back up one here and I'm going to flip it. Again, you have to be extremely careful doing this. But, I mean, in this part of town, people just tolerate this. Oh, here you go. Meow! Oh, no. Yeah. No, he really did that. Zach, if you're going to be a journalist, you cannot become part of the story. Oh, she's in the house. But, I mean, I would say that basically every block, there's somebody. It, it, it's completely normalized down here. This is completely normalized. Don't normalize the meowing down there. They might take offense to that, you know?
Alright, we'll have to do all that. Find me out and figure out. All the cats. Come I mean, on. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta laugh somehow. Hal for Paul Medesa. Yeah, bark, Zach. Right, right here. Do a growl and bark. Do some DMX stuff. Meow. Oh, oh no. There you go. Never mind. No, pull up and and <laughs> growl and bark. Stop next. I can't. There's a car behind me. Look who owns the sidewalks now. Zach gonna get pulled over though. I hope he doesn't. But it's terrible. It's terrible. Because they're gonna he's gonna they're gonna be like, "What are you doing down here, sir?" And he's gonna be like, "Investigative journalism." They're like, "Uh huh, sure." You know, you're coming out here now, Amsterdam, and he's like, Amsterdam, investigative Amsterdam, journalism, how? Over what? We and he's like, the, the street prostitution. You know, like, who you work just, for? Just show me some love. And I think that, you know, I think streets wants, you know, meaningful journalism. Um, we're so short on journalists in the city, it's not even funny. Agreed. So when I take the camera and I point it at something that's important, right? Guys, you know, th that is what it is. He's not wrong. The only thing he did wrong from a journalistic standpoint is and he shouldn't be meowing and become part of the story. But other than that, I think that there's a delicate balance to doing this the right way and the wrong way. He's right. No, I did not make you turn on a red light. But I'm going to head further south here. Here's two more working. Three. Yeah. Oh no, see he shouldn't be doing that, Zach. Um, if you get Solomon down here, Solomon can be No. There's another Absolutely here. not. Uh, Solomon, you are That's Solomon. Five. First of all, Solomon, go to sleep. Here's another one, two. Three. Secondly, Solomon's not allowed over here. Girls right there. So two others across the street. You'll see <laughs> we're gonna start seeing Solomon randomly over there on his scooter. I mean, Come on now. Another three right there. <laughs> You know, I see Solomon. Be like, Solomon, why aren't you in school? He'll be over there. Here's LAPD. Now we're talking. Oh, All right, what's LAPD got down here? There we go. Cop watch. LAPD got something. We're making a traffic stop. It is. Go pull, go over. Pull over. This is usually when I'm down there. I'm usually with my guy who drives me around over there. And I'll be like, drop me off right here. Drop me off. Bro, drop me off. And I'll get out. And then as I'm getting out, he'll be like, I'll be back in 20 minutes. I'm going to get gas. I'm like, 20 minutes? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. When this shit is over, I need to get back in the car and get the fuck out of here. You're talking about 20 minutes. No, get back here. Because he kind of like that. He's kind of a little bit of a blonde. Yeah, Sal will be down there on his bike. With his hat, with his police hat on. Oh, my God. And and uh, and the workers will probably love him too. They'll probably be putting their arms around him, Solomon. Solomon's gonna go to prom with like five women from down there. Hurry up, Zach. See, the only thing I would say is, when I approach a police stop, I never approach from in front, from the front of where the people are pulled over. I don't like putting their face on black I blast. I always come from behind. So I'd walk down the street, behind the police, then make a left across the street. People get mad if you're got a camera in their face like that. So you come behind it, that way you can protect them. But Zach's, gonna, Zach's doing it from a distance. I, I guess that works too. Yeah, Man, I'm going to be live streaming down there next week, and this is going to be Zach pulled over. So, two units. I see one officer. I see a driver. I'm gonna and... I'm going to see Zach pulled over. He's going to be handcuffed. And he's going to be screaming about how he's an investigative journalist. Driver is uh, male Hispanic? Key thing you see right here is the driver is not I mean, pulled out of the car. A full picture of what's out here. Z Zach. Uh, I'm not sure. 
So something like this, actually, Zach could, he's sort of safe. If he gets closer to the scene, see, I wouldn't do this. I never do this right in front of him. Because they'd be like, fool, why are you fucking filming me? Because you don't know if the guy's on, man, he could be in there with his, with a girl in the car and he's married, a wife at home and they see. He's talking to the driver through the window. I'm surprised they didn't pull him out. I wish Zach would go behind the car, though. Keep walking down, Zach. His safety is fine right now. He just don't want to piss off the driver. So generally, after the stop is over, I always want to find out what it's about. So I go up to the driver and be like, bro, what's happening? You all right? And the, mm, tell me their story. Where if you're from this angle in the front, they be like, they don't want to be filmed. Um, it's a Honda. If someone walked up to me filming like that as I was stopped by a cop, I'd flip. I know, that's the Sometimes thing. people want to be filmed being stopped. Other times they don't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I always go behind because that way you can't see their There's face. two more LAPD officers in the car to the left. Um, one out here in the front with the driver. Three cops and he's not pulled out of the car is surprising. He's got a hat on. Everything seems pretty cool. This is South Los Angeles. Juan Figueroa. And this is a traffic stop. Um, I'm not sure if they're checking. I think, I think they're probably running in for warrants. All right, here comes officer to the front. And... They're going to give him a warning, probably. I think it's going to be citation. Oh, well, they wrote him a ticket. I don't think this guy did anything too wrong. So what Zach needs to be thinking right now is when this stop is over, he's got to get the fuck out of here. Because this scene will empty out real quick, and he'll just be the guy out there walking. Now, I'm not saying, like, Figueroa, I'm not, I don't know if I'd be t particularly scared right there. It's a well-lit trip. Like, it's time to go, right? So if he had been handcuffed and stuff, I would have tried to get his story. But... Okay, so Zach, you gotta get Zach, 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 come on. You gotta get the fuck out of there. They're gonna leave and then what? And you're gonna be there and some motherfuckers gonna be stop us for? What did you stop him for? Ran the red? red? Cool, you guys have a good night. Good good job, Zach. Alright, so get to your right car. Right. Yeah, Zach, go home. And I don't think you even got a ticket. Meow. Oh fucking Jesus. Meow. No, no, no. So, no, no, no. Not on cop. No, not while Zach. Zach, not while cop watching. No, not while cop. We don't bring this into cop watching. No, no, not while cop watching. We don't do this, man. Cop watchers are trying to get our credibility, man. We can't do that. It's not a joke. Get to your car. I mean, he, he looked like he was sweating it, and that's four officers for a red light. Can he? Honest, half the traffic hurry stop up! Are out here anyways, you hurry up! Know, you should be just rolling it or red light or what? Oh, just get to your fucking car, Zach! Oh my god! All right, I gotta recross. Hurry! Crossing. Well, Zach's probably got his car running. He probably left the car running. Come on now, get out of here! In the car. Mail club is right. All right, come on. Shot the streets. Shot 86 GOP. Jessica Palmadessa in the house. And... Go! Man, just go. Let's go. Just start yeah, the uh, fucking car and go. Yeah, no, go. Oh my. Guys, the cops can handle it. They're paid so much money. Oh. I think they can handle it. Meow. It's not disrespectful. It's funny. Shut up, seriously. <laughs> Man, just go. Controversial. Controversial to the end. All right, let's flip it. It's midnight. Oh my God. Can you use a sit down? I mean, I think he needs more than just a sit down. Yeah, he, the, the guy didn't even get a ticket. Yeah, the prostitutes, not the cops. I'm so flabbergasted, guys. I'm frustrated. Hey, I... Yeah, streets is stressing. You have no yeah. idea. Just come on, man. You got to have a little street smarts with this. 
A little bit of street smarts, man. Know where you're at. When you get caught at a red light over here, you got to pay attention who's going to roll up on you. They might roll up on you with a gun. Like, you have to be ready, guys. Come on, man. this strip that we've been going up and down. And like I said, of all the streets, this is not... This is not particularly, like, the most dangerous. You go to the side streets, it's different. My driver guy, I'm telling you, he's the slowest guy in the world. My grandmother drives slower than that, drives faster. I feel better meowing at the cops. And he'll go down the side streets, and he'll see a bunch of guys in the middle of the street. And he'll start flashing his lights, like, hey, get out of the road. I'm like, you're going to get us killed, man. You're going to get us fucking killed, man. more people are paying attention to my reporting than ever before, so. But... He caused me a lot of stress right there, man. I have to calm down because, man, that stressed me the hell out. This is kind of a stretch. Kind of hit it. I mean, I could go back one more time. Make sure you hit that like button on, on, his, on his shit. And on top of it, make sure you follow him. I mean, that's definitely the, the stretch is back there. He got 224 people in there. You guys need to be in there. If you don't have access to two different things, weakness. we need to boost his numbers. This type of shit, you know, have people been watching the protests on their Ten. TVs at home for months. I'll go watch this. I'll watch Zach. Uh -huh. I want to see Zach. I don't want Zach to drive. I want somebody else to drive. Right, but well, I want Zach, back. like, smoking just... A bunch of weed while doing this and somebody else driving and just and but, Zach talking. I don't even want to hear the other people talk. I just want them to stay quiet. I want Zach to do his thing. So it's pretty much just this drag from like Imperial to 75th that's really dense. Wait, what? Perfect idea to go drive him. I'm not driving him over there. Switch is in here. So, when he pulls over, man. I don't think anybody's doing it safe. Like, I, I honestly, I, n I would never pull over like that. Oh, I'd yeah. just be I, like, man. I'm extremely careful. Are you extremely careful? You looking behind you? All right, so we're going back. He's going in. going in so like i said you roll up to the red light right here you can't just get caught lacking all right so you go but you want to make sure that whoever's rolling up on side of you is not going to jack you so you just got to like this is straight up basic street shit that. a lot of motherfuckers over there I think they're, they're worried about stuff like that they have a gun under the seat ready for shit like that and they get caught and he does not have a gun. I, maybe he does. I Drive him, DOA's I van. Safe, Shit. I'm not just there to... DOA's van over there? Please. DOA man. I'm going to get in the center. No convincing me he's leaving without a female tonight. Running towards the cops. I mean, I, I crossed when it was safe. I didn't think that was an unsafe street for us. But if the worst we see out here tonight is a red light stop, I'll be happy. I'm going to say this. He ran a red light. I am so shocked he wasn't handcuffed and searched. Low I mean, king. This is an iffy place. All right, here we go. And he could go over there on Western. This is not the only place where there's street. They got the Western, third, fourth. This is what we're doing tonight. And, you know, I will say this. That there are groups and organizations that do work down here to get people off. You open my eyes to people ripping yeah. off the government. I need to do more to get that information so that I can get that out. He's going deep and cover, guys. Out. Stuff from the DA's office, um, on like victim services. Here's one, two, three. I'll have a good surveil spot there. 
there's one sudo in business. Will knows all the places. I know everything about this this damn city. There's a spot on Melrose just east of the 101. Melrose just east of the 101. Ah, okay. Um, so whenever you have prostitution, you have the vice units. And then you have vice units, you have the gang units, you have the narcotics units. And so it depends on what you're targeting. So the vice units, the vice units will, will work in, you know, MacArthur Park, down here, obviously, in the 77th Division, FIG, over on Western. Isn't it, didn't he just do it right here at the same exact spot? I got advantage. So, gonna have lights. I'm just creep forward. Creep forward. Creep forward. Creep forward. Oh, the creeping thing is not helpful. That's actually gonna scare him away, Zach. That's some, that's stalking. <laughs> Oh, I see his ass cheeks. Yeah, it's active during the day out here, too. He's going to be like, okay, so I'm doing investigation, investigative journalism, and how much are your services? I've been before with um, somebody to do, do photography, and you pretty much just pull up and shoot through. But the car stopped. <laughs> you have to go for a two for. Well, there's three of them actually there. There's three. The One, guy probably two. saw Zach pull up and is like, nah, let me get the hell out of here. I got a cop right there. One on the left. And two there. And they're going to come walking over and be like, why are you fucking up our money? Zach, come on, get ready to go. Me I know, not the blinker, too. You bring all types of attention to yourself. I mean, can you imagine that this was your blog that you lived on? One... He said that like that would be like a great thing. Again, I mean, this is poverty, Crip Mac? Right? Yeah, I know Crip Mac. I mean, I don't know him personally, no, but I know him. We're just observing. It, it, is, it is, in fact, dangerous. So here comes. You're right, they're coming to see what you're doing. So they go walk over there and see if that's a cop. I mean, if you came down during the day, Jessica, they might tell you, but... Come on, Zach. Okay, it's time to turn on your... It's... Right now, we're just observing. We're just doing a little bit of undercover drama. He got a white car, man. He's got a white car. And He's probably sitting uh, underneath a uh, street light. Good on the right side. Ask for the investigative journalism discount. Oh, God. Not the I investigative mean, journalism discount. Oh, my God. Was that Jessica? Because that sounds I like something. This, she this said is, that uh, last night. That was funny as hell. The sad no, come on. The city. And we're just hanging out. The Man, they going, he going to end up becoming a, a mark. Yeah, this is an extremely dangerous place to be. Yeah, time to go. Just go, man. I'm good, though. Um, no, because you're fucking up their money. They're going to be like, man, why is that cop over there in the car? I can see him in the car. I, again, I mean, I think the pointing the camera at the problem is is classic journalism technique. Classic journalism technique that and could get you your shit splat. This is, unfortunately, the dark, seedy underbelly of this city. And... I hope he's looking yeah. behind him, too. That's the thing. You got to worry about who's walking up behind you. So he's got to be have his head on a swivel. And I'll be honest with you, his voice, you know, when you turn your head away, you, you can kind of hear. I'm good. They haven't spotted me yet. They haven't spotted you yet. You don't know where they're looking at. They be, it could be up in the houses right next to you spotting. There's another car passing through.
Zach, go to the alleyway too. Fuck it. I'm not messing with anybody's money. That's where I don't feel safe approaching them to interview them with a camera in hand without being in broad daylight. I agree. But this is this is the uh, trade that goes on out here. And this is up and down Figueroa. You know, he's not scared, you know what I'm saying? Much. I give him credit for not being scared. He's not afraid. He's by himself, too. Guys, literally, I would never, I would literally never be out there by myself. I don't go cop watching in the 77th division or any of that by myself. I always have somebody. I need somebody to be in the car running. So when the shit is over, I get back to the car and be like, go, get the fuck out of here. I'm good. I got, I got my purples. Guys, purples? What does that mean? Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm watching my I'm watching my six in the mirrors. All right. All sides. I haven't spotted. All right, we'll move. There you go. Fuck. Zach, you're stressing me out, man, but this is some great shit. No, nobody's going to help me. Oh man, Zach's gonna have big ass like lights flash on his car. He's gonna be like, nobody see me. Nobody's gonna get hurt. This is investigative, undercover investigative journalism. I mean, Zach really seems to know his way around here. Zach live in a swim pool. Zach gotta come do this with the, with the speedos on. He gets pulled over. How the hell are you gonna explain that away? With He's some freaking out. I was at her later last night. He gets pulled over with the speedos, and he's gonna say he's doing investigative yeah, okay. journalism. There's another one. She waved. There you go, cause she wants your money, Zach. She's like, hey. I think, I, I think I've successfully highlighted. Hey, investigative journalist. Street prostitution problem. And <laughs> LED sign says investigative journalist. Though. We're going to move down Imperial. Maybe we'll catch a shooting over or another stop. They're going to start watching this car and then watch it and watch it. Again, I, I think this He's only a good, good journalist if he goes to the side streets. He is not allowed to go to the side streets. He will. It's, it won't end well. Otherwise, like earlier, we just had. It won't end well. And then they have guns on him. Like, who are you? He's. Like, I'm an investigative journalist. I'm not saying he has to go home. I'm just saying you got to stick and move. You can't just sit there too long. You got to keep it moving. Sound like he got a flat tire. Myself. Right on, Pura. Zach, man. Uh, I, I happen, I happen to know this hood uh, pretty well. Wow. Why, why do you guys think We're, I know where to go? Really? Zach. Think about, think before you say this stuff, man. So he knows it very well. But how well? I mean, if I see the sheriffs or LAPD making a stop, I'll probably stop. Hell yeah, Zach. But again, the prostitution there is heavily... Heavily. I thought you said heavenly. <laughs> it's like, whoa. That, 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 is, that is the same spot. You can go out there day and night and you're going to find the same uh, fucking thing. Whatever. All right, here's Death Alley. You guys are so funny. I mean, people can't handle uh, a little bit of uh, investigative journalism. And a little taste of investigative journalism. 
slow taste. Everybody who's interested in like civil rights and trafficking and issues understands that's the area. Like, if you don't know about that, you haven't read about these issues in this city. Civil rights, though, I think people who are like into civil but, rights, I don't know if they think about that. I think we counted, I counted but trafficking, definitely, yeah, yeah, definitely right. trafficking. Yeah. Fully yeah. covered in black. Does he have that bandana around his neck? Please, uh, please say he doesn't. I mean, you can't just roll up to a stop and somebody sees a bandana. He'd be like, oh, no, no, it's a black one. They don't know if that's black or, or blue. They just see the bandana and they don't even flag like that, like they used to do in the... I, I have done... I, I am good at surveillance. <sighs> I, I know we're not getting read up on. But I've done surveillance for Chicago Police Department. Like, I've been in the main drag. Again, like when I when I pick a spot, I'm picking I'm picking a when I pick a spot there, I'm picking a one. Guys, never get overconfident no, with anything. When you get overconfident, that's when you make like mistakes. That. And two that I've already checked it out. He's checked it out. So, okay. I think that uh, I can handle. Like you said, I'll take Paul Vanessa right down there. Paul Vanessa Palma, Palma can do the interviews. She'll get them, I mean, too. You know, certain, Everybody like, talks to Jessica. Or is it an but... Investigate a happy ending massage parlor. Exactly. Z Zach's it bandana has horses on it, but that's... They're just going to see bandana. They're going to see it from a distance. They're going to ask him what set he's from, be. what hood he's from. I mean, I would do that any night of the week. Any night of the week, huh? Talk about what goes on down there because every night of the week. The newspaper does an article every year or two, and then it stops. I mean, Paul Medina was. Uh, and he's like, I'll do it every night. You could be my every night. But it's sad, if you ask me. Sad situation. I'm way behind in the stream. Let me see. This is as far as forward as I can go. Checks me out. Chris is being naughty in the chat. thing to observe it and to do undercover journalism and, under, and nothing um, to taste it and in fact like for surveillance like that I'm, I'm way better off solo okay solo if I, if I have too many people more people then when the live goes it's off inconspicuous. you gotta do but I'm gonna start doing head count to look <laughs> Head counts. Try to systematize it so I can come up with some data. Mm, data. You gotta so get I that. that. I went and I observed, and you know, I saw this many people that night. You saw that many people. That okay. Do a count. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I used to be a civil process server, and. So you you doing process yeah, serving on Figaro? So I'm pretty stealthy. Well, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take your word yeah, with it, man. Funeral. I'm not gonna need a funeral. Again, damn, like, that's what you say right before you end up needing it too. I, I don't feel particularly dangerous there, to be honest. I, I, I honestly don't feel that like I'm in that much danger. Man, I'm better in the streets of this. No. Oh, uh, listen, he's better than me because I would not be do. I would be like, no, nah, I wouldn't be parking there and... I have a different approach. 
Yeah, he's a different approach. He's way, way more balls than me on this one, guys. It's not a secret that that goes on up there. I mean, we'll have to go to Compton next time because I, no. I haven't no. seen... No, 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 man, what are you... Like that man, what are you um, talking about? I haven't particularly gone to Compton. What? But Compton is supposed to be even worse than Monroe. I'm better than Will at this. I don't know about that. I, this... I, I, I mean, if I had Will with me, we could just go talk with them. No, we couldn't. I, I, I not... by myself, no. going up as a white boy and asking 20 questions is not going to work as well. It as works as better as than me. Because they're going to be like, he's a cop, we can't kill him. But with me... And having a relatable interviewer is definitely the key. But relatable interviewer. I but I can't relate, I bro. We're just we're, I mean we're not we're just different people. Yeah. I mean I'm not gonna say I'm better than Will. I you're better than me at this right here, Figueroa. You're yeah, better than me. One thousand percent. I'm chicken but shit. I'm not doing it. I'm not well, doing it. I am going to start counting <sighs> the number of women I see on the corners. Counting your days doing that. Need to get, a little going there. get a little bit of data. Assess. You can't spell assess without ASS. He gonna count the dash so cheeks. That was that century? A prostitution that. survey. Gotta get. Oh, man. Yeah, it, it's not that dangerous out there. Oh, God. He like makes choice. He keeps saying he says it's dangerous, and he says it's not dangerous. I mean, I don't know what protesting. Don't protest Figueroa, man. William, you've been on Fig? I've, I go cop watching in that area. Not really in that area so much because it's hard to cop watch over there because they don't really pull people over on Fig. They don't. So they're not like doing outrageous stuff. But over in the 77th Division, you know, that's Hoover Crip area. So, see, right. His live went off. That's worrisome. I, don't, I can't have his live go off over there. Oh, there we go. I was going to say. Additionally, I'm not big on just like live streaming my location while I'm in, in outside of Hollywood, really. And it would be different too if I had like a bigger camera versus, or even using the, trying to use the GoPro. But the GoPro is for wide shots. I want to see him do a GoPro out, out there. Just walk around with a GoPro. What? Catters watch the interview zone? There's an idea. I think that Los Angeles's street prostitution problems are not unique, but I think that the intensity and the regularity there is interesting. There's Gardena PD. That's Gardena. So, right, he's he's in Gardena, adjacent to Watts. A couple, this is not a good area, bro. But we're going to way back. Yeah. Wait, what? I mean, I don't think... I think that... I mean, I've spent a lot of time living and working in South L.A. So, like, I don't feel uncomfortable being there. If that's what people mean. I, and I get that people have this reaction, right? They think that it is inherently dangerous to be there. Um, and there's some truth to that. But at the same time, like, with some precautions taken, it's not the most dangerous thing. But again, I heard saw, I saw one place up tonight. And it was just um, for a, a, a random stoplight. So not even like something interesting. Where's he going? Is he going home? Pull over in a second. No, oh, fuck. Do some recap. Pull over and do some recap. Get all the way back. Yeah, can you just not do it there? Don't pull over and yeah, recap I, there. I think that. Uh, Be like, hey, LA, 
People watching, I am pulling over right here. Come get your lick. And like people call it, they don't even call it South Central anymore. They call it South Los, South Los Angeles. Um, the hipsters want to call it Sola. But I'm going here for a second. Yeah. Where is he going into? Yeah, I mean the, the difference between. Zach's gonna be the only car in a parking lot just sitting there, isn't he? Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. My God! And at least don't have your... So if you have to pull out of there, you're going to go over the curb? What are you going to do? Come on, Zach. Turn around. He should turn around and face the other way. He shouldn't be even there. He should be on the side of the street or something, not in a parking lot. It is a business. a 6 GOP is right. And But I don't know if this is just necessarily messing with it. I think that it is... Just putting a he ain't looking behind him. Like, Come on, man. Um, you know me. My head will be on a swivel the whole time. And that they should talk about these types of issues. And as a journalist, I need to do more to get out the story. What's the real deal with women on the corner? He's going undercover, guys. What is the? What are the resources that are being directed at the problem? Is it working to solve that problem? Uh, there's actually like there's nobody here. I'm, I'm sitting there's like, nobody. God, you're standing out. You're the only car in there. You're the mark, man. You probably better off if there were 50 cars, so you'd blend in. You're the only car sitting there, a white car in the middle of the parking lot, standing out like a sore thumb. <laughs> he said he deletes his browser history. Like that's the type of engagement um, we love. Um, but I, I think that there is a serious issue there, and that like serious people can have a serious discussion about. This. Bro, come on, don't do this. As far as don't do this, man. One, how do we cover this as the media? And then two, like, what is the story there? And like to me, like I was saying last night, the city attorney's office um, has made it a priority to address what goes on there. But look, we counted twenty women out there probably tonight um, across like two miles. And you know, I think that that is, you know, we didn't see any pimps. Um, you know, I'm not, I mean, the pimps, I think, you know, mostly are in cars. Because they were watching you. They don't walk the street. The pimps don't walk the street. So exactly. They're saying, who's this white car pulled over? Who's that? Cars. Oh. And, or they're down the street, um, further on the side. Uh, I feel, I feel, I feel good here. I'm not, I'm not oh, worried about Oh, fuck my God. Oh, I'm, sad. I'm not too worried I'm going to be here. Oh, sad. No call. No one's going to call streets yet. I mean, I think uh, he's talking about maybe coming on down. So, I mean, he would be welcome there. They would probably uh, hail no. him as a hero. No, they would I don't not. Think so much love for LAPD down there. And they'd be like, who the hell is he? Yeah, it, it's, it's different though. Um, South LA is different than Hollywood. It, it's just a different, way different, man. Landscape. It has a different rhythm, a different feel and touch. Hollywood is packed. Of course, the feel and bad. touch, huh? South LA is dark and stretched out. And Elongated, and it's like just elongated web of streets. That it's, it's dark right. there. That's so one thing about South, South Central. The hand, uh, Listen, white people call it South LA, black people call it South Central. Still, I, trust me. I'm good here. Fuck. I mean, there are some places I don't. Want He's about to take a nap, isn't he? But generally speaking, I'm pretty game. Oh, you're game, all right. I mean, mm. I'm pretty good talking my way out of bad situations. So. Oh, oh. oh. Guys, what are we... Never say that. You're not going to talk yourself out. What, why are they trying to jack you? You can't talk your way out of that. You can't be like, I'm an investigative journalist. We're going to blow up. Because I'm going to cover this like a real journalist. Oh, fucking Jesus. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. I have, I have the mirror. Oh, he's, you're not looking at it? No, I'm not worried. Zach, you got to turn around. Oh, this fuck. is just... Uh, just... I'm, actually, I'm, I'm really close to... Um, Quick cat nap right here. I don't know about that. I mean, no. I think that like the beauty of like investigative journalism, where you go out and you do things, too, is that you can tell that story of what it's like to do it. 
I think being an, a journalist is like being a park ranger sometimes. Park ranger? On a milk carton? Nah. I, I think that, uh, I mean, obviously the sheriff's department is out. Um, Gardena PD is out. Yeah, they're going to be like, what is this white guy doing sitting in the middle of the parking lot right here? They're, they're, the cops are going to come for him. They're going to be like, what are you doing here, sir? And he's going to say investigative journalism. Um, I'm not from home at all. I'm like a block away. Oh, this is your... The, the he... risk would come up on the sidewalk. It's not coming from behind. But again, uh, I feel perfectly safe at this spot. Okay, he lives close to home. Uh, okay, that's... I feel better now. Fine. I'm just fine here. Okay. Uh, not dangerous. We, we are back. We're not even near, uh, near that area anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a bit safer place. And I mean... Maybe I can go pick up uh, LESD over here somewhere. I mean... Pick up? If LESD is here, they're along the uh, main drag. Main drag. You want to start parenting me like Solomon? No, nah, I don't say that. Maybe I'll go find the sheriffs. I have only two. Aaron's with 11. Turn your car around. Oh, I'm good. Goose is watching my live. Yes. I mean, I think that we're uh, just about done here. Be honest. I mean, the action was back there. The happy ending. I mean, it, it, it is back there. I don't know. Maybe LSD is over here. But we're not even in South, South, South LA anymore. Um, I changed jurisdiction. Okay. I need a scanner. I'm feeling better. Love. Buy him a scanner, guys. We, 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 we were up uh, looking at the, the problem on Figueroa. Buy him a scanner. I want to see him cop watch in that area. I'm not the real streets LA. I'm just me. me. You're doing, yeah. I'm I mean, a... I think it's a civil rights issue. Nope, I'm not going back up there for any services. Stop. No, I mean, I think I would write a story about, and like, this is where I'm not sure how to get at this story. Whether I need to do more public records requests, um, more interviews to get at the story up there, right? And like, to me, the story is has. City Attorney's Office and these Just give, aren't directly yes. there made any difference because when you drive up and down and you see 20, 20 people sitting on a corner, right? You go and you see, see LAPD driving by. You go, why is government um, not getting it done? So, I mean, I think we all agree that it is a problem. Um, I'm not there to just make fun of them. Um, I think that it's a complicated issue and that addressing it is going to be extremely complicated. Before you request the robbers. I know, it was kind of wild a little bit. You're going to raise funds? You going, he going to say, he going to CPRA the pimps. I'm, I'm cool. I'm not, I'm not worried. If I, if I was worried about being Jessica here, was the excited one. But I'm not super worried. I can change spots. Maybe we can go find the sheriff's department or Hawthorne. But I'm All right. really like Hawthorne PD. Rush Crimes in Western. So, I mean, I'm not driving back up there. We're, we're, we're done for tonight. That's it. I mean... It's um, over, guys. The later you get out there, the shadier it is. So, people are freaking out there. And... I mean... Meow for Palma Dessa. Meow. Oh, God, no. Meow. Oh. I'm extremely mocked. Uh, I mean, I think it's a joke. Uh -oh. I know, I'm good, I'm good. I'm, t I'm totally good. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm very close to close to uh, being back where I'm supposed to be. So that was nice, uh, kind of kind of fun. I mean, I think that like seeing it out, going on out there helps you process your thoughts a little bit about what you see going on, so that you can start to tell that story of what is um, the real story of street prostitution in the city of Los Angeles. And I, I guess I haven't seen too many in Hollywood. And we've been in Hollywood a lot. I mean, I, I guess they're on the boulevard in Hollywood. No, not Open really. Games until people are scared. You guys, Hollywood, you they don't walk scared. like that. They um, get... I mean, over there. You got you're doing everything on social it is media. What it is. Uh, I mean, I think that you know it is a problem, but highlighting it responsibly is the way to do it. Like. Turning it into clickbait um, or something inappropriate is wrong. They on Santa Monica, yeah, but that's the Santa Monica ones are usually. I mean, I think that um, young 
trans you know, girls. As far as that corridor, there's been a lot of resources directed at it. But obviously, it hasn't fixed it. Now, one thing I'll say is... I want to see, yeah, Zach should interview um, Tori, and so they both should do mushrooms or something. Than 18 out there. Like, I haven't seen a lot of young, like, particularly young women. And I'm not sure if that Compton is worse, but... Compton is not worse. It's not... As far as what, Trent? Quite as dramatically striking. They, they kind of look like, you know, they're, they're used to it. They're professionals out there. Um, earlier we saw one shot and a flash, you know, their, her cell phone light at us to try to buy the uh, camera. Compton doesn't have prostitutes like that. Compton no, is just, is different. Not, There's no, nothing like Figueroa. Night. And then tomorrow's another day. Um, we had fun. Compton, he gonna go yeah, out there and just, that, like, you know, fuck around and... South. LA. He can't go I'm over there in Compton LA. doing that. Not that so Compton's so the worst LA area. Scared. Trust me, Watts is way I'm worse. And, but man, obviously, and like, he can't go to Watts and do like, anything. If he's in Watts, it's just not going to work safe. out, guys. Don't get out the car too much, by the way. And then scanning peripherals, placing yourself right. And yeah, Compton is not that bad for real. Idiot. And it's not going to have the street walkers. I don't know what, but there's no reason for him to really be there. No, we do meows only in up parks. Because Compton borders Long Beach, so you get. Oh, fuck. Meow. Meow. So we do more meows. I can't. Restaurant's closed tomorrow night. I can't. I know. I can't. They're going to 5150 him. If a sheriff pulls up, he he does that. I'll lose my Everybody shit. Get some sleep. I hope he does. That it's not you or your family member out there working the street in the cold. And Cam does think in Compton. Is the issue? I'm not writing a plot in it though. I, I, I'm simply observing. If I was like interrupting it, I would not be doing that. <laughs> yeah, I was not professional, especially with a cop watching. <sighs> I'll stop it. Chat, chat, chat. You cannot go cop wa watching and cop. I'm sure was doing this. I don't know about that. I go I was in Watts earlier. I was in Watts Towers. I go Compton too. But I'm not that scared. Oh God. I mean, you guys can be scared if you want, but I'm not that scared of that. It's it's not it's not even that wild. We're not even talking like active crime scene. We're just talking like regular street crime. Like not even drug dealing. We're talking about you know the world's oldest trade. And oh, of course. It's done publicly. Guys, they're not oh. hiding. They're literally just standing there. On God. The street selling services. And people come up and they pay. And that's how it goes. Oh. The gangs the gangs are a lot over. Conscience is cleared. Oh, I'll be fine. I think that's going to happen to me. Because he got frequent flyer miles along what? the strip. Only a black man would have problems with skin injuries? Nah. Again, again like skin color. He's got the, right? he does have the bandana on. And no, he's got to stop. Mean, I've spent a lot, a lot of time in South Los Angeles, so I'm not afraid of South LA. Like, it's just not that scary. I don't know East LA as well, and I don't know Cobb. Like, no, nah, he can't go to East LA. Come on. I found it on my sub stack. Is that tea? But I'm not going back up there tonight. We're done for tonight. <laughs> I haven't seen the sheriffs really. I don't know how much did they pay though. Compton Chris says. I mean, I've heard you know it ain't that expensive down down there to be honest. That, that's, that's what I've read, right? Like you, you read. And what I've kind of heard is that it isn't what that you expensive. Heard. Her, what he read. So. Yeah, I mean, you have to be very careful about how, if you're going to approach them and try to make contact. Oh, God. How you do that really matters. Right. You do it with cash I mean, in hand. And that's where, like, you know, outreach matters. Oh, God. Having people who are trained. Trained. And, you know, being a social worker, trained social worker. Okay, that's it. Or trained, you know, working with victims okay. of uh, Fair enough. trafficking. Fair enough. Really important. <sighs> so, it ain't funny, it's sad. And, we'll find the sheriffs. I can't. But I'm done with that area. 86 GOP got me. 
bandana. Tell Zach he can't be meowing in East LA. That's what I'm saying. When do we get to film the LAPD? But, I mean, you don't want to be up there. No, so do not get out of the car with his sideways hat and bandana. I don't. I know. They mean well. They mean well. I don't know where the sheriff's department is out, out here. Usually you can find them. Usually it's not that hard to find. Meow. Oh, fuck. Meow. Come on, man. But we were up there. Um, we did that. We've been going in 180 minutes almost. Yeah, for Paul Modessa. She loves it. I think Paul Modessa needs to come down there for herself. Uh, we, I can figure out, we can figure out logistics. Yeah, a little bit earlier would be good. Not the logistics. They're about sunset. They're already out. They're out there all, all day long. It, it is. It is about money. It's about money. Um, I, I'm not getting sucked into any drama. Old news. I'm like fifty one fifty for me. I don't like that. No. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not that bad. I think the meowing is the most effective form of protest that I've seen up there. Yelling at people does not work. Um, <sighs> sometimes you can educate them, but the meowing is consistent and easy, fun. Meow. <laughs> so I'll meow at Trevor next time I see him. I'll be like, meow, Trevor, meow. I can't. Has he done it in a swimming pool yet? I become the drama. Yeah, somebody wrote that I was the jester. Like, really? Or that they couldn't take me seriously. I'm like, okay, then don't. <laughs> Most effective form for that. But. Swims all the time. But does he meow while swinging? Swimming. Swimming. Usually, if you wait here long enough, the sheriff's department will just roll by. Street's reaction to the meow is. He's, he, he finds it really funny, I know. <sighs> oh, God. Mostly, like. I mean, we got a flat tire, it wouldn't be the end of the world up there, but obviously, I'm not trying to get a flat, but you don't get stuck there. Cat tail and cat ears? Don't. Hmm. No. I don't know no. about that. Yeah, thank you, Zach. Oh, I mean, I have a sense of humor. I don't know why people think I don't have a sense of humor. Um, And then they constantly try to, like, Fuck the haters, Zach. But if people don't want to watch the stream, they don't want to watch the stream. Man, watch Zach's stream. Fuck way. this shit. This is we all watching this. This is great stuff, man. And Zach means well and all that. Listen, yes, we'll clown because it's funny and all that. People at night go inside. But Zach is all right with me, man. Yeah, I could do it. The meowing, though, that's Jessica insisted on that shit. But Blame Jessica more than Zach there on is it. Some investigation potential up there, but as far as you man. trying to like get at why the solutions that people have tried are not working, um, as far as getting worried about the ice cream, or, man. Listen, that ice cream's not doesn't even matter. Or, or otherwise, we'll only do it because to, you know, make money. Hmm. Zach, okay. fuck the haters, Zach. Saying, don't let, don't care. I mean. I mean don't worry about what they say. So, you guys, I mean, if you guys want to see that, you know, that bad, uh, I guess, yeah, meow for Paul Medessa, so. No, well, the, no more. I, no more. 420 Love says Johnny Midnight. Well, I mean, uh, for Jessica, yeah, yes. Closing it on 1 a.m. here. She says, uh, Jessica said, I literally have a I video of you meowing. That was AI. That wasn't yeah, even me. You know, I, I think that. That was AI. Being appropriate and how you cover something like that is really important. So. I take it seriously. I might make a joke or two. I might say something, but I do take that what goes on there very seriously. I'm not just trying to sensationalize it or exploit it. I, I do want to use this as a tool for journalism. He's going to be out now. Watch. Go. F the haters. F the haters. Fuck folks. them haters. So, Zachary Ellison, independent journalist, politics, investigations, and media. We're going to be doing some more investigations. He's jerking. Oh, LA. my. And, you know, that's how you get to the answers. You know, I think that it's... um. 
Ask your chat. I played it from ten times last night. That was AI. That was not even me. Come on now. That was an app. Problems we have in LA are not going away, despite the fact that we spent so. A mini Zach. Hell yeah. Um. Man, <laughs> Chris, a mini I mean, Zach. Journalism should be appreciated. More people should be supporting journalism. Come on now, a mini Zach, Chris. This guy had a little bandana on. A yellow jacket. And Speedos. Watch towers. Um, we do, we had a really nice evening. We saw, you know, stops. Um, we saw art. We saw, you know, people working the streets corner, and we did safely. So, I'm head on home. Y'all have a wonderful night, and I guess I'll see. The, I'll see the recap. <laughs> Are you going home? Are you Again, going I home? Have a sense of humor. Everybody else has, has a sense of humor. Are you going um, home now? We think it's important to show the world what's going on here. And this is technology to do it. So everybody have a good night. Stay safe. He's and going deep cover. Mm. He's going to get that journalism discount. Zach's whole, uh, that's my new favorite thing. He going straight back. <laughs> He's making a pit stop. <laughs> Clap it up. <laughs> Zach. I'm telling you, Zach's going to have a million subscribers soon. Make sure you subscribe to him. He's got 2.36... 6,000. Cash in hand. He probably is going to ask for that journalism discount too. That was rougher than the conversation we were hostage to last night. That conversation last night, yeah, that conversation last night was different. But remember, there's certain cops you can... Whenever you run into him, you just talk about Moffitt. You say Moffitt. He's like, I know Moffitt. He'd be like, oh, okay. Hey, guys, you know it's Moffitt. I feel bad to laugh at Zach. Nah, nah. Like, Zach, I, listen, is it journalism? Yeah. As long as he leaves the meowing out of it, but whatever. But, uh, you know. Have fun. Why not? I don't think anybody's maliciously. You clown me too. Shit. Clown, you know. It's part of the fun. Let's start meowing to officers. Don't do that. Because then they're going to they're gonna blame it on me somehow. Jessica's going to blame it on me. After she done started that shit, then the next thing you know, the cops will be making fun of me. Move like a cow. Not the meowing. Just, I could do it without the meowing. Zach, I will have a disagreement on that. All the other shit he did was good. The police stop. I would watch, if Zach goes around filming police stops, I will definitely watch that. William, we need you on Fig soon. I took Chris and Cam and Jessica there one time. We didn't stay around for long. And then we went to Skid Row and somebody tried to jump into the car. Aja started it. Is that who started it? I was almost positive it was Jessica because I remember one night she came riding up. She rolled out a window and she started meowing and everybody in the crowd started meowing back at her. But maybe, maybe, uh, maybe she got it from Aja. If that's the case, she shouldn't, she stole it from Aja. Jessica, taking credit for stuff that you didn't even start. I just been meowing. I just started it. So Jessica, you, you how come you've been taking credit for it? 
<laughs> On that note, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Come on now, everybody for Jessica on three. One, two, three. Meow. <laughs>